Hey, what's up, guys? It's Darkroom Duels, and today I'm doing a Mech Knight Invoked deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this one because this deck is super good right now. It's probably a Tier 2 contender, maybe Tier 1 contender in the coming future, but it's a really fun deck, and I highly recommend you guys try this deck out. It's super fun to play around with. I actually bought Mech Knights when they first came out. That's why I have the Extreme Force original prints of this deck, which is really, really fun. It's a really good deck, and I've been playing around with this deck for a long time, and it's just fun. Like, I carry this deck to local sometimes and just play around with it because it's fun. So, without further ado, let's get straight on this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell in there so you can come part of the notification squad. Definitely check out the Ko-Fi and the Patreon, and let's get straight on into this one, guys. So, first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Mech Knight Blue Sky. So, Blue Sky is really good in this deck. Basically, he's a searcher, and all Mech Knights share this ability that if two or more cards are in the same column, you can special summon this card from your hand. And you can only special summon this card once per turn this way. So you can special summon it with other ways, but you can only special summon it that way once. Then if this card is normal or special summoned from your hand, you can add Magnite cards with different names except himself from your deck to your hand equal to the number of your opponent's cards in this card's column. So if your opponent has two, you get to add two. If your opponent has three, you get to add three. That's really, really, really good. Then we play three copies of Mech Knight Purple Nightfall. Purple Nightfall is really good because it has the ability that you it has the same magnet ability as the other one as blue sky so they all share that ability which is really cool and then it also has once per turn quick effect you can target a mech knight monster you control banish it until the next standby phase um, of your next turn and if you do you get to add a mech knight monster from your deck to your hand which is really cool because it evades the targeting or attacks of an opponent's monster banishes them and then you get to bring them back in a turn to be back on the field to do all sorts of other stuff with them. I play two copies of Indigo Eclipse or the Shifty Boy. Um, he's really good because basically what he does is, is he shifts position to move over so you can special summon another Mech Knight monster to that zone that he was particularly in. Or he shifts a different Mech Knight to a different zone which can help out. Because if you control two more Mech Knights or two more monsters you can special summon this card from your hand. And then once per turn, quick effect, you can target a Mech Knight monster you control and move that target to another column in your main monster zone. I play a single Single copy of the Yellow Star Mech Knight. This card's really interesting because it lets you banish a Mech Knight uh, monster from your graveyard and you get to target a spell or trap and destroy it. And plus, he got a big booty. He got 2800. You can just special summon him in defense position and he big. Or she big. Then we play two, one copy of Red Moon. Red Moon is really good because it can be special summoned and then you can banish a Mech Knight from your graveyard, target a monster your opponent controls, and destroy it. And you can also combo it with the Shifty Mech Knight to be able to move it to another column to be able to pop something else in that card's column, which is really, really good to be able to do that, um, just to be able to move it. We play... Three copies of Alistair the Invoker. You normal summon this guy, and then when you normal summon him, you get to add Invocation from your deck to your hand, which can be really, really beneficial. And then also, if a fusion monster battles, you can send him to the graveyard from your hand to make that monster gain a 1,000 additional attack. And he's the combo starter for your entire invoked engine besides the Magical Meltdown. Three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom really helps out with your opponent. You can play any hand trap you want in this position. It's totally up to you. But the Ash Blossom has really helped me out because it prevents stuff like Shadow Fusions and stuff like that from your opponent, you know, sending cards from deck to graveyard as long as they don't have something like uh, Magical Meltdown on their side of the field. Three copies of Droll and Lockbird. Droll and Lockbird is probably arguably the best hand trap right now because it prevents your opponent from adding any cards except for drawing them for the rest of the turn which is really really good you can change this out again any six hand traps fit in this position that you feel like you need effect veilers um copies of ghost ogre copies of dd crow whatever you feel like you need put them in this position but i highly recommend the Ash and the Droll, because you really don't want your opponent to add stuff, and that's what the majority of decks are doing right now, is adding from deck to hand. Then we play three copies, uh, or two copies of Gamma Seal. Gamma Seal really helps out in this deck too, because basically what you're going to do with Gamma Seal is, is tribute a monster on your opponent's side of the field that's not lining up with a spell or trap on your side of the field, or your or a spell or trap on your opponent's side of the field, tribute that monster, and then put it in any column that you want to put it in, and then special summon a Mech Knight to that column, which really helps out to be able to do... Gamma Seal really, really helps out in this deck. And plus, the majority of your Mech Knights can be over a Gamma Seal, which is nice, except for your Blue Sky. That's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells. So for the spells, we're going to be playing three copies of Called by the Grave. You need the three Called by the Graves because basically this card 
stops your opponent from hand trapping you because we search a lot in this deck. Three copies of Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion basically lets us summon our Thousand Eyes and Millennium Eyes Restrict, which can be really, really helpful to be able to put on our side of the field. Because basically what you're trying to do is, is get something in that column to be able to special summon and prevent your opponent from doing any kind of hand trap stuff with the Millennium Eyes and prevent them from doing any kind of um, shenanigans with a big monster with Thousand and Eyes because you can gobble it up, which is really helpful. One copy of our Terraforming. Terraforming helps out because... You can activate Terraforming and get Magical Meltdown from your deck to your hand. Two copies of Mind Control. Sadly, this card is at two in this deck because it is went to two. But you get to target a monster your opponent controls and take control of it until the end phase. This can be really helpful with OTKs to be able to link it away for something like Alistair, the Invoker of Madness, because you just have to use two monsters with different types and different attributes. So you can put a Gamma Skill on your opponent's side of the field, Normal Summon Alistair, activate the Mind Control, take your uh, copy of Gamma Skill back, and then link it away with the Alistair to summon this, and you've got the invocation already set up to go into another monster. Then we play two copies of World Legacy's Memory. World Legacy's Memory is really, really good, and I will give you guys a little bit of an interesting take here, but this lady right here is actually Lee the Fairy, which is really interesting in the World Legacy storyline. If you don't know who that is, definitely look that up. Basically, this card lets you special summon a Mech Knight monster in your hand or deck in defense position, but return it to your hand during the end phase. So basically, it's better than Rhoda, but you can only activate it once per turn, so that's why we only play it at one. And it's not really searchable in this deck. So we play three copies of Invocation. Invocation really, really helps because it's a fusion spell that lets us special summon by banishing monsters in our opponent's graveyard, our graveyard, or our sending cards from our deck or from our uh, hand to the graveyard as well, or field to the graveyard to fusion summon, which is really, really cool. Um, to fusion summon our invoked monsters. And let me play three copies of Magical Meltdown, because when you activate this card, you get to add an invoker, uh, Alistair the Invoker, from your deck to your hand. And then your opponent cannot activate cards or effects that include the effects, uh, or your opponent cannot act, the activated effects of your fusion spells, a fusion uh, monster cannot be negated. Like, they can't negate it. Basically makes them super poly, which is really, really cool. So that's it for all the spells. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, we're going to be playing two copies of World Legacy Secret. So World Legacy Secret is basically, when you activate it, you can target a level 5 or higher monster in your graveyard and special summon it, which can be one of your invoked fusions, it can be one of your mech knights, it can be like something that you really need, like one of your um, purple nightfalls or anything like that, and you just put it back on the field. And it also has the ability that's really crazy about this card is, is when this card leaves the field, destroy uh, that monster, and then negate any, this is, and that's a period, now listen to this, negate any opponent's monster effect that activates in the same column as a mech knight monster you control. That is crazy. It's skill drain. If I have a blue sky in your column, I negate your monster effect. If I have a purple nightfall in your column, hey, guess what? I negate your monster effect. Now let's say that you activate a monster effect on your side of the field. I can chain my Indigo Eclipse because it's a quick effect and move it to that column while this is on the field. And guess what? It's negated. It negates that effect. That's really, really, really good. And this card should be at two in every single Mac Knight deck or three. I mean, you could get away with probably three of this card and it would be still good. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So the extra deck, we're going to be playing a single copy of the Invoker of Madness. Basically, this card lets us search our uh, invocation as well as doing all sorts of shenanigans with him. He's really good for the link arrows, but he's just an overall good card. One copy of the Mech Knight of the Morning Star. This card's really, really good in this deck because you can discard a Mech Knight monster or a World Legacy card, and then you get to add a World Legacy card from your deck to your hand, which is going to be your copy of the World Legacy Secret or a copy of your World Legacy Memories, which I actually misquoted earlier and said you could not search in this deck. You can actually search it off of this card, which is always at your access to be able to special summon. I thought about putting key in here as well, just to negate extra abilities, but I, I just didn't feel like it was needed in this deck that much. You can play the other ones to negate cards that are in the columns in here, because this card does search it if you want to, but I just didn't. Um, we play a single copy of Spectrum Supreme. This card can attack your opponent directly, which is really cool. Um, this card is the only card in its column, which is 
really actually not that hard to do. And then if this card is in the extra monster zone points to no monsters, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. And also your opponent cannot target it with card effects. This card is so good and is, is just awesome boss monster. One copy of Avermax um, or Avermax just to be able to OTK your opponent a little bit easier. Cross Sheep because you play Invoked in this deck. Gravity Controller because you play copies of your Millennium Eyes and Thousand Eyes and you need to bounce your opponent's cards. Salaman Great Alamirage, basically you normal summon the Alistair and then link it away for this, and it provides a little extra protection for you. Then you're not losing value by just normal summoning it and then fusing it away. You actually are getting another monster out of it, which helps out. And plus, you can use this for Purgatorio, which is really, really good. One copy of Elysium. This card is really good because you can use monsters that were special summoned from the extra deck as for the fusion materials. One, two copies of Makaba. Um, Makaba is really good because it, if you have a spell trap or monster effect activated on your opponent's side of the field, then you can send a spell trap or monster effect with the same type to your graveyard and then negate the effect, which is really cool. But it doesn't have to be on the field; it just has to be activated on their side, like at all, and it banishes the card. Purgatrio to OTK, uh, Ragin to be able to Book of Moon stuff. Kaliga basically is here because it makes it Dark Door where your opponent can't. Um, attack but with one monster you can't attack with one monster but your opponent can't either and they can only activate one monster effect which is really really interesting i like that about that it's very control based one copy of thousand eyes to be able to gobble up opponent's monster and a single copy of millennium eyes to be able to go into defense position and prevent your opponent from hand trapping you while you're trying to summon your mech knights and it's good for columns so that's it for the deck guys i hope you enjoyed it it's a really 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 fun deck I highly recommend that you guys give this deck a try. It's super fun to play around with, and it's just an overall good deck. I highly think that, I really think that this deck is, if not tier two, tier one. Like, I really feel like Mech Knights are going to be tier one this format, um, because there's not that much to contend with besides Spiral, Shadow, Rockets, and I think Salaman Greats are still topping some. So that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell on there so you can come part of the notification squad. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you around, guys.